this video we're going to look at how to find the volume of a prism. So a prism is the same or is a shape that has the same cross section anywhere you chop it down in that direction. So for instance, this is a pentagonal prism. So as you see, it's got a pentagon and it's the same throughout. A cylinder, it's a prism. It's got a circle and it's the same throughout. And a cube, you've got cuboids, triangular prisms, and so on. So you, you'll have seen lots of prisms already. Um, a sphere wouldn't be a prism because as you chop the circles in the area, as you chop the the sphere, you're going to get larger circles as you go through the shape. So the cross section changes size. So that's not a prism. Okay, so the volume of a prism is given by the formula: area for the cross section times the length. So the cross section is the part that stays the same. So for instance, in this one, you would get the area of the cross section in terms of how long it is. And this is given to you in the formula sheet for uh, GCC Foundation and higher. Um, but it's just something that you should know anyway. Um, you've probably already worked at some volumes of prisms before. For instance, if you had a cuboid, you'd do length times width times height. But by doing the length times the width, you get the area of the cross section. Let's have a look at a typical question now. Okay, so here's a pentagonal prism. You've got your pentagon at the front. This is the same throughout. It says the area of the cross section is 30 centimeters squared. So the area of this cross section is 30 centimeters squared. The prism is 6 centimeters long, so it's 6 centimeters long. And the question says calculate the volume of the prism. So the volume of a prism is the area of the cross section, 30, times by how long it is, which is 6. Then that would be 180 centimeters cubed. Notice it's volume, so it's centimeters cubed. So the volume of the prism would be 180 centimetres cubed.